A driver in western Minnesota now says uh, this crash wasn't Tesla's fault. Uh, at first, he blamed the car's autopilot system. Later, though, he said that the technology wasn't actually engaged. And this kind of Tesla is one of many on the road and shows us what self-driving cars might look like in the future. So how do driverless cars work? Good question. Heather Brown drove along 394 in a Volvo XC90 to find part of the answer. Now let go of the steering wheel. Let go. <laughs> and follow what it shows you. This is semi-autonomous driving, available now from several car companies. We've been driving for about three minutes and I have not touched either pedal. No. It speeds up and slows down for you on the highway. So it started to notice that there was a car cutting in in front yeah. of us. It also lets you take your hands off the wheel for 15 seconds at a time because through a radar and sensors and cameras, it follows the lanes on the roads. So. The car is just going to turn by itself yes. up here. Whoa, it, it did. <laughs> Jeez, the steering wheel just turned. As you can see, the first generation uh, allows you to literally play with the future of what automobiles are going to be. The future, fully autonomous or driverless cars that are still being tested by companies like Google or Uber or Tesla. Just about all of them on the roads do have a human there to try to you know, take over or at least take notes. Frank Dalma runs the state and local policy program at the U. How do driverless cars work? It's largely the development of supercomputers. Watch in this example, when the cyclist holds up his arm, our software detects the hand signal and predicts his movement into our lane. Many of the self-driving cars have LiDAR, which is like radar, but op uses light. To paint a picture of everything surrounding it. And that in combination with uh, conventional radar, cameras, and a whole bunch of other sensors are assembled by basically a supercomputer within the car to uh, uh, determine where its surroundings are, where the road is, where it should go. Um, High, high quality maps are also very, very important. Dalma says they'll be common in 2030. The car companies hope to have them available by 2021, but until then. It turned yes, that way. It did, because why? The road split, there was uh -huh. no lanes in the middle, so it took the exit. Ah. So again, part of semi autonomous drive, <laughs> you still have to be a driver. Yep. Heather Brown. Sure do. WCCO 4 News. Our U of M expert told Heather that 95% of deadly car accidents in the country are caused by human error, and driverless cars would dramatically improve safety. Well, that's pretty wild, yeah, watching her do that. Uh, Volvo's even made a very bold pledge, saying that by 2020, no one will be killed in a new Volvo car. If you have a question for Heather, you can email it by going to wcco.com links.